Amen. Amen. Hey, God bless you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up. The bottom line is, look, we're going to shine this light. That's all I'm just saying. Shine the light so people don't know who Yahoo is, who is Yahusha. Shine the light, even though all the different names of the different apostles and, and the, all the different prophets and, and, and understand is for us to know. I'm sorry. It came from the God chose Abraham. Abraham is a Hebrew. Abraham uh, had his son Isaac. He had Jacob. Jacob went to Egypt in Africa. He was there for 400 years. The family was there for 400 years. It came out, big number, right? But they were Hebrews. And it's, it's not to put our English language down or anything like that, but we should at least re re reverence the names. And that, that once we were talking about what uh, Yahuwah said, that is my name. We need to remember that. So this is a wrap up. And I will, I may put that in this piece right here at the beginning of the message, just to just remind you, we, we're learning who Yahuwah is, and we're learning who Yahusha is, and these are Hebrew names, but that's where the our scriptures came from, came from the Hebrew people. And we need to honor what God inspired them to say about who he is, not who we want him to be, but who he is. He said, I have no other God before me. God bless. So, hey, look, arise, shine, for the light has come. And the glory of the Lord has, the glory of Yahuwah, excuse me, has risen upon you. Therefore, let's plant this seed and let our light shine so other people know who our Savior is. Who is his name? Talking about the name Yahuwah mentioned 7,000 times. Hmm. And how about Yahusha mentioned? Let me see. I think I, I, well, I, I look at, I put it on there, I type it in there, right? Mentioned over a thousand times, Yahusha. All right. God bless you. I hope you have a great week. I hope you had a great uh, Thanksgiving and thanks to the Lord. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless. God bless you, Brother Addison. God bless you, those who are going to listen to this video. We are really getting to something that, at least, Brother Addison, that I'm, I'm, I'm a, a, so uh, amazed at is how easy it was or it is to look up Yahuwah, to look up Yahusha. How easy it is to recognize that the transliteration that we have gone through didn't even take place. I'm talking about the name Jesus, people, to listen, because I know we've been put in, a, a, uh, we've been taught all our lives by ministries. Isn't that right, brother? That's about ministries to say that Jesus is Lord based on something that came out in 1700. I think I was looking at the King James Version. Bible didn't come out until 1768, I believe, and I'll look at it later. But the 1700, that name, and 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 here's here's the kicker, people. Look at this, brother Addison. We had no problem with Baal. We we not translating Baal. We're not doing yeah. any transliteration with Baal. You know, Baal, y'all, you know. Oh, look, oh, excuse me. How about this one? Lord. We have no transliteration with Beelzebub. Well, you know what I mean? We it, it, matter of fact, they even kept it in the King James Bible, didn't they? Yeah. Beelzebub. How is it? And this, this is not even really but this is a rhetorical question because I, I already feel that there's some that I, I think, first of all, I do believe that it was forced on people uh, a long time ago. And especially, uh, uh, I think I would consider poor people, uh, marginal groups of people, 
that you will say this. You know, it, it, it it's not going to say, I will sit there and say there's not some, uh, nobody, nobody heard, you know, the Lord gave me a vision, right? You know what I mean? It, it's nobody going to say that, 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 the, the the Holy Spirit came down and told me that we're going to transliterate this name to <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I heard it. You know what I mean? I got somebody. Is nobody going to come in and say I got the divine revelation of this? You know, we're going to start using in nineteen started in the seventeen hundred. We're going to start using this name, and we're not even going to re think about the name of the original name of the people. Matter of fact, I think I told you when I was back in Germany a long time ago, some when I was telling somebody that, look, this, this little revelation that I had was that Jesus is a Jew. And the guy was like, how can you say, remember I told you that before, how can you say mm -hmm. that Jesus is a Jew? And you sit there and you're like, what? It, <laughs> my brain was like, are you are you reading the Bible, dude? Are you are you re did you read the Bible? Did, did you know that Mary was a Jew? <laughs> did you know that Joseph was a Jew? Did you know that David was a Jew? Uh really? You didn't know? <laughs> and so therefore, most people probably didn't even know. And even today, the people that's going to listen to this video today, or portion of the video today, is going to sit there and say, Jesus is a Hebrew? Yes, Jesus is a Hebrew. Matter of fact, Abraham is a Hebrew. Yeah, but not in the sense of what people believe these nationalities are today. <laughs> Because when when you say Jew or Hebrew, they think of someone European. Oh, well, people, that's just make sure what, what brother has said. Just how much? How much the the, the lie? Yeah, the worldview. Uh huh. Yeah, because even we did all our little videos, people. You know, all the movies. You know, we put all these people from a worldview perspective. I I just want you know for people to know. You've based on a worldview perspective. But the reality is, I mean, matter of fact, you and I talked about last week too, about even with Egypt. Some people even thought Egypt was uh, not in Africa, but <laughs> yes, Egypt is in Africa. I, I, I know that we have reached an educational level now that we know that Egypt is in Africa, that Jerusalem is in the Asia, because right off the continent, right, basically bordered in the continent of Africa, what we call nowadays the Middle East, which encompass Africa and Israel and some of the other, like, I guess, uh, Iran and Syria and so forth. Uh, those, that's the, that's the region where our Savior came from. Uh, and they're Hebrews. I ain't talking about the other people. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the people that are what we call uh, Jews. And they, oh, just like sure, just in case y'all didn't know, Jew come from the tribe of Judah, right? That's why they call them Jews because they are Judah, the tribe of Judah. Maybe you didn't know that, but we're going to tell you that. But what I'm starting off saying is there is no excuse for ministries to not tell us about Yahuwah. First of all, I want to put Yahuwah first. Yahuwah, there is no excuse for you not telling the people. At, cause many of you went to seminar. I'm telling you, a whole bunch of them went to seminar, seminaries or seminars, or whatever you call them. And 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 did, did many of them have even talked and study Hebrew? You know, brother, they, that's part, That's yeah, one of the I, curriculums. I was talking to a young man that was studying Hebrew. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to him, well, a week uh -huh. ago, and he says that they're teaching this name, Yahusha, but yet it escapes him that that's the name that you should stick with. They're sticking with, yeah. he, he's sticking with Jesus. 
He, st- he still says Jesus. He's no, he's learning Hebrew. Right. And and uh, in in uh, um, theology, you know, they're, they're teaching this, and um, it's it's amazing that. This, this, the name Jesus has become so synonymous with our faith, right? That it's it, it's it, it's just it's just been ingrained, and I and and it it it's really gonna take something to open the eyes of those who believe to 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 see. I, I, what this 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 change that I believe needs to happen. Yeah, I think I think it, it's going to take some. Say, it's going to take some time. Yeah, you know. But you know what? Say, uh, let me just say this. I'm beginning to agree with these people when they say Jesus is Lord. From from a go ahead. So go tell because, break it down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because uh, that could be the name of Baal, <laughs> substitute name. Well, that was some people Baal, saying too. Yeah. Jesus, you know, and so, well, so Lord yeah. Part, Baal is yeah. Lord Baal in the Hebrew, yeah. you know. Yeah, Hebrew it's, is, it's, is the word for for Lord. Yeah, <laughs> I mean the meaning of Lord in Hebrew is Baal. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm beginning to be like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In other words, you 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 you've been you've been you've been blinded. And and I think it, it was the, the thing you think about it was that the Catholic Church ordained it, right? Even though I wonder why the Church of England ordained it too. You know what I mean? Because when I mean, they broke away from Catholic, yeah. just to just to uh, what the main the main wanted just to do a divorce, right? He just he 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 said, "I'm gonna come on my own. I'm coming on my own Christianity." Uh, and then the King James Bible uh, also. Um, but why didn't why why did the even Martin Luther why didn't when he I mean I know he but don't forget he got a revelation about grace just by sitting on the bathroom's toilet right he, yeah so yeah. and then he did the indulgence you know wonder why that then he reached the indulgence uh, of saying hey Catholic I got a couple of things against you already that you're teaching wrong but but yes it's ingrained. Knowing and and I think I started off saying is how easy it was it is to sit there and say wait a minute okay the transliteration that we have today which is like correctly stated not a translation right brother Allison this is not, yeah. a, translation. not a translation this is a transliteration yeah. Uh, that came out in the 1700s, the name Jesus. And we are, those of us on the Western side, English speaking side, have said, and you like, you almost have said, that is the name above every name. And and it is like it's been going over so long. And then it's like, how easy to uncover it? How could that be? You know, when you talk to that guy, what did he say? Did he give explain explanation? Of why he's sticking with that, even though he know he came out in the seventeen hundreds, or did he know he came out in the seventeen hundreds? Yeah, he knew. He knew. He uh, did. Yeah, and uh, and a lot of people just they just dismiss it. You know, people that I talk to, they're like, it's it's uh, it's a seed that falls by the wayside. That's a seed, but the thing about it, you almost ask yourself, say. I, I mean, I'm relating what you're coming from. I, I, I would love to have that conversation. Uh, I'll be a fly on the wall on that one because I was still asking, especially people going through the studying of uh, Hebrew, is why are we accepting? Did we? Did anybody give a divine revelation? You see, what I'm saying it did. You know, anybody, anybody that could consider a prophet or something that that could say, "Hey, we 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 doing this because 
you know, uh, like look, at least you go with Joseph Smith, right? For the for the Mormons, they yeah. they said an angel came down and talked to them about it, right? Uh, even as there wouldn't be excuse, <laughs> there would be something, right? Something from a heavenly vision, something, something yeah. from that. Yeah. Uh, but it's not. It's not. And, and that but that's was, okay. That's, that's what. Uh, that right there is the. It is the frosting on the cake for me because <laughs> no one's been given permission. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. and if they have, no one has has uh, stated that. Right. You know what I mean? There's no statement saying, like you said, an angel of Yah came and said, Use this name, right? In That's English, or 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 my 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 son's name shall be this, or no longer shall my name be, you know, or anything like that. Anything like that. My name no longer will be, um, Yahoo, or my name is not going to be the Greek translation, right? You know, yeah. uh, Jesus. Uh, yeah. But the the, the uh, I. That's why it's time to, I think he's using us in the last day. I got Revelation chapter three in here uh, today to talk about the the church of Philadelphia. He said, I know you're small, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but you haven't denied my name. You know what I mean? Uh, while others wow. have denied the name. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. it, and we are definitely heading toward the uh, end times. And if the, if the different, some people are taught that the different, uh, churches also represents phases of time uh, for the end time. <laughs> so it, it may be. But for those people that's listening, we're just telling you, that's okay. If you want to, and when I don't mean, I'm sorry, I don't mean it's okay for you to continue to use the name. I mean, if you want to use it, you use it. But as long as you need to know, though, it's time to know the name. And it's time for you to hear and pray to God. Yeah, to ask that question, is it okay to have a transliteration or even a translation? But I, I can go with that. I can see, you know, like somebody Chinese, right? China, they can say, they, they got like Xian, you know, they got, they got a variation of the Hebrew translation into their language. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and even, and then, you know, the other thing too, well, even for us, the translation, the English translation from Yahusha is Joshua. And, and and that was all that's been in the old in the uh, King James Version for almost forever, was has it? Yeah. And and Joshua people, the ones that's one of the people that was the right hand man of Moses, and he was sent into the promised land with loving other spies. But in, in numbers, uh, I just want to show it. Well, we could, I don't know why I said didn't try to <laughs> say something. <laughs> and don't, don't show it because most people are very, most ministers have been keeping people ignorant. Uh, and some people don't even want to do anything unless they hear from their pastor. <laughs> That's another form of control, too, if you think about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's another cut. I remember. I remember talking to some young lady one time. She said, "Well, I got, I got to talk to my pastor about it." Okay, go ahead. You go ahead with your pastor and talk to him about it. Yeah, but uh, but <laughs> allow them to to go. You know, um, they'll say that before they'll say, "Well, let me go pray." Yeah. Oh, let me go look it up first myself. And 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 and, and take. Yeah. And they can at least look it up. Could you could the Bible, you know, one of the things I think the other thing ministry is not pushing so much is study to show yourself approved yeah. unto God. You know what I mean? Yeah, Cause, I mean, cause that's what when says, I was right? younger, when I was younger, I heard that a lot. That yeah. was that was uh something that was said in uh in Kojic on a regular. 
yeah, you know, study um, to show yourself approved unto God. Yeah. And and people not doing that, you know, or some people. And then, then like I said, I, uh, well, I didn't say, but I'm saying here, and I said it before, but I'm saying is that the the tools that they give us to study has the indoctrination in it. Yeah. So that when I'm studying it, because you told me to go study it. When you told me to look and see, I go to Matthew's chapter one, and I'm sitting there where they sit there, and the angels came and told Joseph and told Mary, his name shall be called mm -hmm. Jesus. And told people Joseph. are like, I'm not putting it down, but I'm just telling you that it's not the right information because that name didn't come out until the 1700s. So you know that that was not the name when the manuscripts were written that they said his name should be called. His name was not called a transliteration of Jesus. I understand. We've been having that for, what, 300 some years now, right? Three, 400 years now, right? But the point mm -hmm. is, when, I, when yeah. we tell people to study, Brother Addison, we're telling them to study something that cannot be defended when they study. You know what I mean? When we, we would take out the Hebrew name, we take out the, especially our Savior's name, and worst of all, let's tell people that it, I think it's almost, it's a, it's, it's a spiritual uh, battle. When you sit there and take Yahuwah name out, and like, and you and I was talking about to say, when it said Baal, Lord, Baal, Lord, that we, we, we intentionally put in, not us, the people who wrote it intensely put in a name, L O R D, capital yeah. L O R D, to replace Yahuwah, which means behold the hands, behold the nail. We, we somebody thought that that was not even important enough. Did they they allow the translators, the the church leaders, they all approve this stuff? Didn't sit there and say. You know, we least let them need to know Yahuwah. You know, we, we snuck in Jehovah Jireh. We 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 we, shuck, we snuck in Jehovah else. We snuck in else to die. You know that that got in there. I don't know what it was in the original sixteen uh, eleven Bible, but at least the King James version date it doesn't have it doesn't have else to die right. And yeah. I think it has El. I think it has uh, Jeh Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah, it. and that's still wrong. Uh, it's still wrong. Do you right? But they got that in there. So they, they put some pieces in there. But to take L O R T, I mean, just look how many times for people to know that's seven thousand times. I you know, I, I read the uh, you know, you ran the word search in the secret Bible. A lot of people said, I'm looking at the Bible, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see you. <laughs> well, if you look at a, a Bible that puts the original Hebrew names in and places in, then you'll see Yahuwah. Is that fair to say to him, Brother Adams? That, yeah. That you'll see it. So all we're trying to tell you, you know, is um, that... Go ahead. Well, I was just saying this, this even, even where you're at, when you get down to uh, verse 23, you can see yeah. that there's names yeah. that are almost identical it is identical, really. Because uh, based on look at all, that's one of the translations, Yahusha. Well, I was talking about uh, yeah, Eshkol, Eshkol in uh, verse 23. It's, it's it almost oh, the same. They, the book of Eshkol is, is almost the same word here. You know, they oh, didn't. The oh, yeah, it's they, almost. Yeah. He's talking about this word, right? This letter right here. And this one right here. That's the King James Version to the left. And yeah. then that's the uh, Cipher to the right. He said, in other words, they got the K for the C. From sounding, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, and and, and, and um, even Aaron and 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 is, oh, is, even Aaron, Abraham, remember Abraham? Yeah. Uh, name, and Moses, is, Moses almost sounds the same, Moshe. Moshe, yeah, yeah. And, you know, so 
it's it's amazing. That, that, and, 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 Canelo, look, 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 here's, the, here's the one. It says right here, that I brought up in uh, numbers, is, uh, let me see, where is that? 20, is it 23, 16? Let me see. There's the King James Version. Here's the C for over here. 16. The number 16. See right here? It's, it's, it's saying none. This is a J here as well. Yehusha. And then it's yeah. the C for Yahusha. Yeah. For none. For Joshua. Yeah. He didn't even call Joshua his, his name over here. Uh, 16. Yeah. And that venture came out to be Joshua. You know? In the book of Joshua. Yeah. You you see what I'm saying? 16? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Looking dead at it. Um it's uh it's amazing how they could they can put this here and no way. They even put that they even put that there wrong though, because look. Here's Yahusha, right here. Right? Yeah. Now, let me go to Joshua, the book of Joshua. Here's, as you can see the word over here, Joshua, in the uh, Esau Bible. I'm going to Joshua chapter 1. And let's see here. Moshe and, and Yahuwah here. And I think they had, uh, where they got Yahusha? It's all in the, uh, let's see, chapter two. Let's see what we got. How can I say his name in this one? Let me see here. Well, yeah, it's right here. It's Joshua, right at the beginning. See, it? but look, they changed. Yeah. They, here's none again. Same son, same name, right? Yeah. In the King James Version, it says Joshua here. Talking about the same person, son of none, right? And we go back to Numbers, look what they had. Numbers 6, 13, what, 16 or 13? 13. The first one came, he first came up here. Uh, Hoshea's son, it doesn't the travel Ephraim. Hoshea, the son of Nun. That's what they said first. Then you go down to 13. I mean, 16. Is and Moses called Hoshea, and see the the uh, Sefer Bible. I think it's Hush, was it not? Yeah, Hush. See, called Hush, H U S H A, Hush. And yeah. then he said, because he was sent by God, he called him Yahusha. But over here. They got Hoshea, Hoshea, right? The son of Nun, yes, Hoshea, Ye Jehusha. Yeah. Jehu you track it? Jehoshua, Jehoshua. I guess it's a Jehoshua, but when they get to, by the time they got to the book of Joshua, they actually called him Joshua. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From the King James version, which which would throw you off right there, right? Because like, wait a minute, what is this? Is Joshua or not? Because by the time you get to the Book of Joshua, you 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 forget all about that he was identified back in. Uh, you forget all about it, but his name was Husha because he was sent by God. Moses single him out of all the others. You know, the 12, 12 spies. He, he seen him out as Joshua. Or really the Hebrew word is Yahusha. You know? It it is it's, it's yeah. so so like somebody said, some some wording and miss when I'm studying think about when you're studying, right? If you just study the King James version, uh we track it. Right? Yeah. He can throw you off saying, Yeah, go study, show yourself and prove. 
Because we're going to give you the tool that we want you to study. <laughs> yeah, go study this book that that is uh, not full yeah. and truthful. Yeah. And that's what, that that's has what been, been tampered with. Yeah. You know, because if you go in and, and uh, <clears throat> if you was given a test, going to school and you're given a test, and they have a book, and then they have a book somebody else transcribed and <laughs> put in their own names and words and yeah. say, you go study this, but the test is going to be based on this, on the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the guy was talking about You're not going to pass that, that test. <laughs> Matter of fact, you, the, the, guy was, the, 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 the guy did a, I did a that video on for yesterday uh, made a comment he's saying is, the truth will bring changes. And I that that's the statement was made. I wasn't sure what it meant. What it meant from a negative sense or well he said the truth will bring changes and then we'll start doing something different. And 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 yeah. I hear what the person's saying, truth does bring change. Because the truth brings freedom. You know what I mean? The truth yeah. will make you free. And that's what we want to do for all of us to be free. And have that personal relationship with him. So to start off with is is I like this this look. You remember I read this before in Isaiah, uh, chapter sixty, right? Yeah. What what's happening is we're waking up. So I want to I want to I want to read by uh, Isaiah sixty to a degree to make sure I think got all the words in it, but I ain't got no tricky words that I can't come up with. <laughs> look look. 